All righty. Internal components of a Cisco router that you will most likely be tested on. All right, let's take a look at them. The ROM. What does the ROM has to, what's its function? Its function is to hold the mini iOS, which is pretty much to you troubleshoot. The bootstrap, that's what kicks everything off, all right? Or the post, or really the post is what kicks everything off, then the bootstrap. And ramen. This is a nasty, dirty place. You don't want to be there. If you find yourself in ramen, and how do you know you're in ramen? Well, I'll tell you, it's in ramen, all right? That's how the prompt will look like. That's a bad place to be. That means something happened to your iOS, okay? So, but that's the purpose of ROM, read-only memory. Those will always exist. They cannot be erased, okay? RAM, on the other hand, is volatile, right? RAM is volatile. Things have a tendency to disappear if you don't save, just like on a computer, right? If you're making a Word document and you don't save as you go, imagine you making your thesis. For your, for your doctorates, and it's like 200 pages long or more, and you didn't save not one time. You just left your computer on the whole time, and then you're about to save at the very last, and it deletes, the power goes out, your computer turns off, and then you got to start from scratch. Oh, that's a bad thing. So with RAM, when you're working on your router, every so often, every so often, do a copy run start from privilege mode or in real world scenario or in your labs at home. You can do a do WR, all right, to save it. All right, so what does a RAM hold? It holds the ARP cache. That's going to change, all right? It's going to uh, when you start going to different networks. The routing table, that's volatile as you add or take out subnets. That's going to change. And it's considered the running configuration. That's when you do a show run. That's what you're looking at. What's in RAM? What is configured at this moment right now? That is RAM. That's its purpose. NVRAM means that it's not volatile. So anything you save from here to here, it is like a backup, if you would. Okay? You say copy, run, start. Copy from RAM to NVRAM, which is the startup configuration. Like it says right there, it's your hard drive. It's like your hard drive. You're gonna save all your information to that. All right, and then later on in this particular section, we're gonna learn how to back it up, all right, to our TFTP server. And then your flash, very important. This holds your iOS, your operating system, your internet working operating system. All right, so you do not delete flash. Bad command. Don't type that because you're going to get rid of your operating system. Okay? That's the purpose of this. And then the configuration registry, which controls how the router boots up. I remember those numbers I told you. But let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at those, those things, right? Let's go into the lab. I'm going to sit down. You guys know I'm getting old and, you know, the legs and all that. All right. So here is our router. Let's maximize it. Well, let's put it on this side, really. So you guys can see, right? We'll leave the PowerPoint there on one side. We'll just open it up a little bit right here. All right, and then let's go to the CLI. And I think that's a little bit too much. I think I'm in the way here. Let me bring you right there. I think you can see right there. I'm right in the way there. All right. As you can see on the boot up, this, you know, right here, you see the system bootstrap. That started the whole thing and the version of the bootstrap, right? I'll show you in a little bit later. And then it starts doing all these proprietary things, and it starts telling you about the uh, operating system you have, which is your Cisco IOS, which is right here. All right, this is what we're using, and the version of it, which is 12.4.15 T1. Right, that's the release. All right, and then we're in our router, and then we can do enable. All right, and then we can do a show run. And we can see what's configured in there. That's what you normally do in your certification. You do a show run to look at your IP addresses, to look at what your lines are configured, if there are any writing protocols. If you do a show start, right, you're going to see the same thing because I always copy. But it could be that your run could be different from your start. Because if I now start configuring different things on there and not copy it, 
Well, then my start is not going to show, and I'll give you an example. I'm going to go config T. I'm going to go interface. Uh, wait a minute. Before I mess something up, do show IP. Well, I think it's right here. Do show IP int brief. Right? We have both fast Ethernet zeros. What can we configure on here? Let me take a look at do show start. I don't think I did a banner or anything like that. So, oh, we're going to do the BTY lines. Let's do a line. Let's do a lines. Line con zero. We'll do a password Cisco. Right? And then log in. Line BTY. Zero space 15. Password Cisco. Log in. And I'm not going to copy it. I'm not going to copy it. I'm going to do a control Z. Get rid of all that gibberish. I'm going to do a show run again. And this, I'm looking at my RAM, what I've done so far. And you can see right there, this is what I configured. But what happens when I do a show start? And I go to the end. It's not there because I haven't copied it. But if I do a copy from run to start, meaning from RAM to enemy RAM, and then I do a show start, I'm going to see that information. So that's what that's the difference. Now we also have, if you wanted to look at your iOS directly, you can do a show flash, right? And there's your flash right there, right? This highlighted portion right there. That's your flash. And you can see there's a long name. And, and I think we've done it previously, but I always tell you do a show flash and copy the dot bin file because this is a long name. All right, so we can go ahead because you're going to need it when it asks you for the source that you're copying. All right, but there's your flash right there. Now, ramen. Let's look at let's look at the version real quick. All right, because we talked about the registry. Show ver. That's for short for version. And look at your flash right there. Flash C1841 advanced whatever. All right, I'm going to hit space to go all the way to the bottom, and then right here you have. And that is the default. I don't know why he's doing that. That is the default right there, 2102. That tells the router, hey, look at the configuration that's in the startup config and load that. That is his job. Okay, you can change that if you wanted to. All right, but uh, you may not want to because if you do, if I were now to go to global configuration, config T and do a config hyphen reg 0x2142. Now I'm going to do a do WR. I'm going to cheat and do a do show ver. Look what it says. It will be 0x2142 at next reload. Well, what does 2142 mean? It means do not look at the configuration, the start of config file, and just let me in the router. And that's exactly what's going to happen to this router when it comes up. When I reload, did I copy? Did I copy this? I think so. I'm going to do it again just in case. I'm going to go do reload. All right, now you can see it's decompressing, right? The iOS is decompressing into the router. And it's going to take a little bit. And believe me, with the simulators, a lot faster than the actual equipment. All right, but you see, look at that. Where, where did I start in setup mode, right? It's asking me, hey, do you want to start the initial configuration dialog? I'm going to say, no, I do not. And then everything's been erased. Let me look at my run. Oh, my God, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Let me look at my start. Oh, everything's there. Everything's there. So, hey, how about copy? Or how about this? Let's go back to a registry. Why copy? Let's do this. Config uh, T. Config hyphen reg 0x2102. Enter. Do WR. Do reload. And then it's going to go through the same process. But uh, remember, it, it only happens on the next boot up. So what does that tell you as an engineer? Don't do this during the day, right? You don't want to be reloading your router during the day. That's why we have a maintenance window. We have a maintenance window. And then we hit enter. We enable. We do a show start. Oh, we did that before. And there's our configurations. But look what happened to our IP addresses. They went away. 
they went away. So we will need to reconfigure the IP addresses on the router and turn them on and things like that. All right, so these are things, this is your configuration registry, okay? So there was your ROM, your RAM, your enemy RAM, and your flash. And I showed you the registry. Now, there is different ways, and I've, I've shown you this before, where you can go to the physical, turn it off, turn it back on, go to the CLI, control C, and lo and behold, there is your ramen. You do not want to be there. You do not want to be there. All right. And if you do a question mark or not a question mark, help. All right. These are the boots. These are the boots. These are the commands they can do here. Confreg will change the configuration registry, obviously. Dir will give you, you know, built in commands, whatever. Reset will reboot the router. TFTP download. That's how you would reload an operating system. I'll type the command for you. TFTP DNLD and it is case sensitive. It is case sensitive. All right. And you need to follow these instructions to the letter exactly the way it is there. You put the IP address and tells you for this particular unit. You need to type this. This right here, you need to type it exactly as it is there in caps with the underscore, the whole thing, and put the IP address. The subnet mask, gateway, the TFTP server, what file name, all that needs to be exactly. And then it will upload the new iOS. But again, I doubt that they'll, the, you need to know about ramen. You need to know what works on ramen. You need to know that ramen exists. I doubt that they'll make you do this. But we're just going to reset. All right, because we actually did a break command to get in there. All right, but this is your, your actual, uh, that is your registry. So we can control how the registry boots up as well with these hexadecimal numbers, okay? But the basic three, all right, is, or the really, the, the only two, really, because the only one, 2101, I'll just tell you about it. It just tells you, hey, boot me into uh, um, the, that mini iOS, okay? So I can work with it. That's all it is for troubleshooting purposes. But the 2102 and the 2142, 2102 is the default. 2142 says ignore the startup config. 22, look at the startup config. You always want to be at 2102. If the router never shuts down, you're not going to have an issue if you leave it at 2142. But the day that you have a brownout or the day you have a power outage, when you reboot your routers, it's going to boot back to an empty configuration. And I've seen it happen in many schools. Okay, so be weary. And be worried in your certification that that question may come up. All right. So there you go. Those are your components that you need to be aware of. All right. And I showed you your registry. So with that said, I'll see you in the next.